Hi there, it's Chester at Blue Peak and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at calculating percentage differences between two figures. So first scenario here, we've got sales figures for our products. And we've got sales figures for 2015, 2016. And we want to work out the percentage difference, decrease or increase in sales. So first of all, I'm going to do it kind of with a helper column. Uh, so I'll actually do the calculation across two columns and then I'll do it all in one column. And you can decide which one you want to use. So the first thing to do if you're using a helper column is to work out the difference in the sales. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, 2016 sales value minus 2015. So that will give me a negative or positive value, depending on whether there's been an increase or decrease in sales. So then what I've got to do is work out what this figure is as a percentage of the first year sales, the 2015 year sales. So you're comparing the difference to the first figure. So to do that's pretty easy, it's just division. You say, take this figure and divide it by the first year sales, just simple division. Now, I think I've pre-formatted this field as a percentage field, uh, percentage sale rather. So you may end up with an answer that looks like that. Uh, you can deal with that fairly quickly, either by clicking up here on the ribbon, percent style button, or if you want decimal places, you can go to percentage there. Obviously, you can increase or decrease decimal places as you so require. And I'll copy that down, and it gives me the answer. As you can see, you've got increase or decrease. Later on in the video, I'll show you how to do a little bit of formatting with these, but we'll move on to the next example. So with this one, what we want to do is work out the difference between the two years. And what we're going to have to do is... Uh, percentage difference, that is. What we're going to have to do on this one is actually do it all uh, within one cell. Now, it's the same calculation as we did here, but we're doing it in one place, in one cell here. So the first thing to do would be to take the two values away, so February minus the January, and then you divide it by the first figure. So we did this bit of the calculation in the difference column over here, and then we're doing this bit of the calculation, the division here, we're dividing here. Now, what we do want to do is do this subtraction before we do the division. And if you know anything about maths and bod maths, the order of calculations, you'll know that division is performed before subtraction, unless you put the subtraction in brackets, which is what we're gonna do. We want to do this bit first, we want to do the calculation that we did in column D first before we do the division. So if I press enter again, I pre-formatted that column. It's easy to apply the percentage format and you can change the decimal places if you require. And then all I do is just copy it down. You can see you get an increase or a decrease in sales as I copy it down the column. So I could have done the same here. Let's do the same. I'll call this all in one. Be exactly the same. I would say take this from this and divide it by the first value. Okay. So I'll put that in brackets to make that happen first. If I copy it down, I get the same answers as over here. And by decimal place, you can see the answers look exactly the same. Now, what might be quite nice is to show negative figures in red, as they are with the currency over here. By the way, if you don't know the shortcut key for applying this format to currency figures, because if I choose currency in that list, I don't get that red format. Uh, but if you want that, it's Control-Shift-4. Control-Shift-4 gives you the red uh, font color. Uh, for negative values. Now, it doesn't quite work the same way for percentage values. Uh, you can uh, go into Format Sales and play around in here. So I can go to Format Sales there. 
brings up this dialog box. Or what I like to do is just use the shortcut key control one. It does exactly the same thing. Now what we have to do for percentage, I mean, if we were doing currency, it gives you all these lovely options here for negative numbers, but not for percentage values. Pretty easy to sort out though. You can go to custom here. So in this type box, that's the current format for our sales, 0.0%. What you can do is if you put a semicolon in there, if you can see it on your screen, put a semicolon in there, anything to the left of the semicolon is the format for positive values and anything to the right is the format for negative values. Now, if I want it to be red, what I do is I put red in, in square brackets, the capital R for red, and then I just do the same 0.0%. And that will give me that bit there to the right of the semicolon. I put your negative figures in red. Okay, you get exactly the same thing there. And the other way we could do it is with conditional formatting. If I choose these cells here, just say conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, less than zero. And I could have any format I desire. Let's go to custom format. I don't want a different fill color, but I do want the font to be red. It's changed the background color there. I'd have to work out what that salmon color is, but you get the idea. I didn't mean to change the background color there, but there we are. You can see that the, the fonts are red. Let me take off the background color on all those cells. Doesn't look so good. You can see it's done the same thing. So you can either do the red font via your format sales options there. It's probably the way I would do it, or you can do it via conditional formatting. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Please subscribe if you have, and I'll see you next video.